My next guest says instead of comparing President Obama with Governor Romney, it's more revealing to compare Obama with Obama, contrasting the president's uh, record versus his rhetoric, starting with his pledge to create more transparency in government. Joining us tonight, Thomas Sowell, senior fellow with the Hoover Institution uh, and author of the recent essay, Trickle Down Theory and Tax Cuts for the Rich and Syndicated Columnist. Great to have you with us, Thomas. Let's start with, and I, I love the idea of Obama v. Obama, because uh, as you put it, uh, I mean, the idea that the transparency, he was going to open this government up and, and something quite different happened, hasn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, I, I think the classic is the Obamacare, uh, which uh, far from being uh, presented to the public uh, for several days on the Internet, as he said he would do, uh, was uh, rushed through Congress so fast, even the congressmen uh, admitted they hadn't had time to read it. They just passed it and let it go. So uh, it's one of many great contrasts between what he said and he was going to do and what he actually did. And, and now there's, uh, there is, at least in the offing, uh, the prospect of a uh, Obama v. Obama v. Obama, should he win a, s a second term, uh, how reliable is this man in doing what he says he's going to do in your judgment? I think you, you, you'd have a better batting average if you took the opposite of what he said as what he was going to do. Uh, <laughs> what's scary is if he is reelected. He will probably have at least one and probably a couple of Supreme Court nominations to make. Uh, and as he has said in his uh, off-the-record comments to the Russian uh, president, Medvedev, you know, he will no longer have to face the voters again. And so considering how willful he's been thus far, can you imagine if he not, doesn't have to care what the voters say anymore? Uh, he can do all kinds of things, and I know of no way to stop him uh, short of impeachment or a military coup. You know, as you've written, the idea that this man, uh, who seemed in, in some respects to, to embrace every facet of, of uh, American uh, government uh, and our constitutional republic, uh, suddenly is ruling by fiat with almost uh, no comment from the national liberal media. It, it, it's, it is stunning, and there seems to be little reaction amongst uh, the electorate. I know. It's, uh, I, can't, I can't think of any president in my lifetime, with the possible exception of Franklin D. Roosevelt early on, uh, who could do almost anything and there'd be no complaints about it. But even her FDR, you know, by the 1940s, was getting a lot of heat from a lot of, a lot of, a lot of sources. But this man uh, seems to he's, he's Teflon. Teflon, and you have written that also that uh, Governor Romney needs to understand very clearly that he's got to attack the, the central charge of the Obama campaign, and that is he's all about the rich at the expense of the poor, he being Romney. How should he respond to that charge? Uh, first of all, uh, people should stop believing that when you raise tax rates on anybody, rich or poor, that means you're going to get more tax revenue. There have been many cases, uh, one 1997, when they cut the uh, capital gains tax, for example, and the amount of uh, capital gains revenue that they received in the next four years went up from what the projections were for the, under the old rate to almost tw twice what the pr projections had been under the old rate. I mean, people do not automatically pay whatever the tax rate is. There are so many ways ranging from uh, tax-free municipal bonds to simply sending your money to other countries that uh, it's very unlikely that the rich are going to be inconvenienced by raising the tax rates on them who will be hurt by it the most will undoubtedly be the people who are looking for jobs when the jobs have been driven out of the country to other countries uh, to escape the, the high tax rates. And by high, I don't mean his, by historic standards. I mean high uh, compared to what, what they are to other countries. Thomas, thanks for being here. I hope you'll come back soon. Good talking with you. Thomas Sowell.